Um, and I want to talk a little bit about, you know, um, the misconception about MSMEs. So do you think there, there is some hesitance or there's some misconception about the capacity of MSMEs to be sustainable and resilient, which, which needs to be corrected? Because in, in the same sense, where do you see the challenge? So, you know, the misconception comes from some challenge that MSMEs may be facing when it comes to partnerships and collaboration, especially with bigger companies. So where do you see that challenge and what do you think, uh, you know, uh, can be done in this partnership where the MSMEs feel comfortable to get on the sustainability journey and the, and the bigger companies are able to enable them to get on this journey? So um, where we are an SME, so and we also get a lot of um, misconceptions that MSEs are there and, and um, the kind of support that they need is um, they would need dole-outs for a lot of their programs. But um, that's not the nature of entrepreneurs. They would want, as mentioned a while ago, they would want opportunities um, so that they could monetize their core competencies. In, um, as an SME, we believe that every business, big or small, has a role in achieving the SDGs. In our company alone, these are the programs we're implementing. Like uh, with Mori Nation as a case study of the say and responsible agri-investments, um, Groatia is monitoring our compliance and implementation of the SENRAI to move towards inclusion and sustainability. This initiative ensures that investments in the agri-value chain contribute to regional development, food security, equitable benefits, and the use, sustainable use of resources. Okay, another initiative that we're taking is um, our capacity building for the replication and adaptation of inclusive business models from source mapping um, small shareholder farms to technology-enabled healthcare. Um, this would help in the base of Pyramid in making them um, market players also as well and in being included in the value chain. Mori Nation has likewise implemented the OECD and FAUST guidance on responsible agri-supply chains, where we include a lot of MSMEs in our programs. This is backed by over 40 governments and provides businesses with a framework on how to carry out supply chain due diligence in line with international standards, such as the Global Compact 10 principles. So uh, those sort of things. Um, we also saw the effects in our supply chain on our sector, and um, our farmers were throwing away their crops due, due to the inability of the market to absorb these. So from our Farms to Families Vegetable Match program, we were buying um, vegetables from our MSMEs, and then we're distributing them freely to the market. So, th so these are some of the programs. Even if you're an MSMEs, you have a role in the SDGs. 